Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for today's video, I will be testing out some of the oxygen tablets that I actually got online and I'll be stress testing them on fishes that are put in aquarium totally without addition, aeration and supporting them with only oxygen tablets and we'll do a comparison study with and without these tablets and see how long the fish can survive at high stocking density. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we, pro we produce weekly content on mud crab farming and shrimp farming technologies. So if you are new to this program, do like and subscribe so you can get the weekly notification on our latest video here. Right, so this is actually how the oxygen tablet looks like. Right, so it's actually it actually recommended to put about one for every fifteen to twenty liters of water. So unlike you know those vitamin C evanescence that we are used to, it doesn't immediately bubble up oxygen as soon as we put these tablets in. So here's a quick speed up video of uh of the oxygen tablets releasing sub oxygen over a period of five minutes sped up so this is the first five minutes after putting the tablets in so as you can see after one or two hours actually the water starts to become a bit cloudy at the bottom and you know although it doesn't have a lot of uh, bubbles actually coming up you can see a little bit of those mixing especially on a time lapse video so you know as we are aquaculturists and I get a bit concerned about the type of chemicals that I put inside my tank. The first test for us was to test whether there was any toxicity to the fish at, you know, by putting these tablets. So the tank on the left actually doesn't have any tablet and the tank on the right has actually some tablets, 10 tablets actually. And the fish stocking density is about 40 kilograms per cubic meter. So we actually tested this fish for about two hours. As you can see, the fish actually is still alive, but you can see a thin layer of uh, like a film that is forming on top of the tank on the right, which has the tablet. Nevertheless, everything seems to be okay after two hours mark. Uh, both fish, even without aeration at low stocking, remains okay. So here's the the result that we were looking for. What happens if I add the oxygen tablet high stocking density, which is actually 200 kilograms per cubic meter. And on the left, I did not add any tablets at all. On the right, I actually put 10 tablets. And we actually run a seven hour study just to see the effects of this tablet and how many fish we can actually save when we are actually at the high stocking density, totally without any aeration as well. Okay, so as you can see here, the tank on the left, uh, even before the two hour mark, some of the fish actually have start to rise up and start to get for air. Uh, some of the smaller fish as well. You know, I expect that the bigger fish would start to die first because of their surface area to body size. Um, so let's see what happens after the few hours mark. Right as we approach the two hours mark, you can see a bit of film on the on the tank on the right. This is because of the chemical reaction. So no fish has actually died after the two hours before the two hours mark. And you know, when we come back, uh, we will see actually right at the four hours mark because our GoPro has a limit on the time lapse. So you can see two of the bigger fish have actually died on the tank on the left uh, without the tablets. Um, and you still do not see the fish on the right with the tablets coming up to gaps for air um, at the five hour mark. So actually quite a good result uh, by using this oxygen tablet. Um, what actually happens now is you can see one of the fish is actually dying on the left uh, due to suffocation. So now I have three fishes that are dead on the tank on the left without the tablets. And about the seven hour mark, only the fish on the right will start to get for air. Whereas the tank without tablet have already faced up to 80% mortality already. So actually this is quite a good result by using and showing that the you know, oxygen tablets are actually helping you, especially during a power outage. So that's a real great tool that could help you sustain any more lifespan, even at high stock intensity. Although the cost is a bit higher, but it still makes sense to save your fish. So that's all for video. Do like and subscribe and hope to see you back again at Rasa Aquaculture.